Hey, what's going on, everybody? Exhausted Gamer here to bring you another video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing six PS4 games that I picked up yesterday from GameStop. I got bombarded with text messages and everything saying that I was my games were available. So I went ahead and picked everything up. So I want to share with you guys these things haven't been open yet or anything. So let's go ahead and get on to the unboxing. But first, I want to introduce you to the old timer. It's the old man knife right here. So you're going to see this a lot in my unboxings. So let's go ahead and get it started. So the first game we're going to start off with tonight is going to be NBA 2K14 for the PS4. So you're looking at maximum of four players, 50 gigabyte minimum, two to 10 network players, online play optional, DualShock 4 required and 1080p output is going to be for this game so let's go ahead and get this thing open take my time a little bit I really don't like scratching up my cases so I like taking my time so let's go ahead and get this thing open All right, here you have it. Fresh game smell coming out the box. This is what you're getting right here. Spin this around a little bit. All right. Let's see what we get in here. So all we get is basically a little game manual, starters manual basically, so simple stuff and you get the game right here so that's it for NBA 2k14 next on the list Madden 25 got ADO now Adrian Peterson all day RG3 grace in the back of the cover so you're gonna be looking at one player two to four players online 16 megabyte minimum install so this is probably going to be the smallest game that you get right now at launch with this install I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure for the other titles but 16 me megabyte minimum that's pretty good and uh, 2 to 6 network players 1080p output dual shop 4 required of course remote play and online play is optional so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open nothing like that first pop pop that cherry get this plastic off in the flesh brand new alright so right here you see what comes in the case seven day trial for PlayStation Plus you know what matter of fact freeze frame it I don't want that I already got a year of PlayStation Plus so I don't need this right here I, I never need it I always renew mine for, for an annual subscription so whoever wants that get it Alright, we're gonna go from here. Alright, I'm covering this up because you never know. But it's a fat heel fat fat head deal right here for that code. And then of course you get the little literature in there for the Madden in the in the disc, of course. So that's it for that one. <laughs> Excuse me guys, I got a little sniffles. This weather is on and off up here in the DMV, so it's it's been kind of bad up here all right so the next game we're moving on to is going to be Assassin's Creed Black Flag the GameStop edition so we're looking at coming with the GameStop edition is coming with the exclusive exclusive mission and ship and additional 60 minutes of uh, gameplay for Assassin's Creed I'm really looking forward to Black Flag I had some doubts before because I played the other black uh, other Assassin's Creed's but 
it just you know two and three were pretty good but it, it, I kind of like I wanted something different so this one looks pretty more sandbox and open world so let's go ahead and get this thing open old timer pop it go make that a science And happy release, well, PlayStation 4 Eve to everybody that's picking it up tomorrow night at um, GameStop. I know I'll be out there. I'll be visiting two GameStops. I'm going to get some video out there and stuff like that. So um, that's going to be pretty fun. I'm really looking forward to this because this is something that happens every couple years. And with this life cycle, this isn't going to be happening again in for another eight years so the life cycle for the ps4 is going to be eight years they say so you know we got some years some of us can be up in them years by the time the new system release so here we go in the flesh and there you have it oh almost gave it to you assassin's creed all right, probably the first thing you see is the unlock for exclusive content, which I'm gonna put that to the side. And then there's something interesting right here, Assassin's Creed Initiates. So, it, that looks pretty, I never heard anything about this before, so. It's access to a beta online. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll be taking a look into that as well. They got additional game, additional stuff in here for. Make sure there's nothing in there. You play Assassin's Creed Liberation HD. Everything, so there you go for that. And then you come with a passport code in here, which I'm not going to show you. And then inside that. It's going to be just some more literature, so that's it. Oh, yeah, and it's an additional game. It's going to be on the back side, on the back side of the box display, of the cover, box cover, there's going to be a code at the back for the additional gameplay with this code. So that's going to be your extra 60 minutes of gameplay for Assassin's Creed. So keep in mind, guys, um, get acclimated to YouTube. And one thing I am looking forward to picking up is going to be the Elgato HD capture card. I look between that and the Hapaj capture card. And I think the Elgato comes with the best software and everything. So I think I'm going to be going with that one instead. And it takes up less space on my desk. So I think that will be good for me. So the next game we're moving into is going to be Need for Speed Rivals. I was on the fence about this one, but I ended up getting it because it's like I haven't played a great racing game, pretty much arcade racing game since Burnout, Burnout Paradise, and it's going to be Need for Speed Most Wanted. So this one right here is looking pretty good. I think it's going to be a pretty good a sleeper for the next gen launch for on both consoles, Xbox One and PS4. So what we're looking at here on the back is going to be one player. 25 gigabyte minimum, two to six players on the network, 1080p of course output, dual shop four controller required, remote play, and online play is optional. So let's go ahead and pop this one open real quick. This one ain't gonna be as loud because they shrink wrap this one. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let's see. Ooh, the disc was loose in here. Make sure there ain't no scratches on here. Okay, it's good to go. Get in there. All right. Go. All right. Here you go. Right here. This is what you get inside. All right. And yeah, this is an advertisement for the Need for Speed movie in theaters March 14th. I totally forgot I saw a trailer for that. So. That's going to be an interesting one. And of course, spam for FIFA 14 like EA always does. And then you got your game literature. 
in the disc inside. So make sure there ain't nothing else in here. Yep, that's pretty much it. Just game literature and spam for Need for Speed movie and FIFA 14. So that's it for this. So let's move on to the next game right now. All right, we're looking at Killzone Shadowfall. This was actually my first pickup for the PS4. So I'm pretty excited about this game. I've seen the reviews on it, people going hard on it or whatever, but there's no better opinion than your own opinion. So you, if you really want to play this game, you pick it up and judge for yourself. Don't base this stuff off of stuff that other game sites say and stuff like that because at the end of the day they do this for a living you might they might have been on a bad day arguing with the wife trouble with the kids or whatever they got going on in their personal lives and they look at this game and they're like you know what I'm gonna bomb it so you never know what these guys are going through so your opinion is always your best opinion all right we got kills on Shadowfall here's the back all right, we're looking at one player, 45 gigabyte minimum install, and you got two to 24 network players. That's going to be more than enough on online, so that that's looking pretty. That's that's turning out to be pretty fun. Online play is optional, of course. Dual Shop 4 1080p output with remote play. So let's go ahead and pop it. This one is going to sound good. All right, you pop it open. It come with another Kill Zone Shadowfall and a P, uh, play, uh, PlayStation Plus seven day trial. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Oh yeah, it shows you basically. I like how they did this. Let's see. I'm pop the disc out real quick. That's saving the trees right there. They built the strategy guide into the box art cover, so if you needed some quick pointers, just open up the box and look at what they got going on inside right there. So, all right, put the disc back in. But with this seven-day trial, you can have that because I don't need it. Freeze the camera, pause the video, however you want to, whatever you want to do, and take down that code. So, probably the first person that watched this video. Are going to get both of the codes, so you you all better be quick. All right, that's going to be it for Kills on Shadowfall. Looking forward to really playing this. Is this will probably be the first game that I pop into my system. This is something I'm really looking forward to playing too. So that's it for Kill Kills on Shadowfall. All right, last but not least. It's going to be this right here, Battlefield 4, which is basically crowned the king of graphics on the PC. This thing has got rave reviews and it's always running like a beast. I ran Killzone, I mean, I'm sorry, Killzone, Battlefield 4 on my gaming PC, Battlefield 3, I'm sorry, and that thing looked lovely, so I can only imagine how this is going to look. So let's go ahead and get this thing open right here. Here's the back. All right, read off to you real quick. One player, of course, for single player, starting off with a 40 gigabyte minimum download and a two to 66 network players. So I'm really looking forward to this on playing this. I played a couple of matches on Battlefield 3 with the with the 60 players online, 60, 64 players online, and that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, I'm really looking forward to trying that out, and especially on big map, big maps when it comes to conquest and rush. You got all that open space on the consoles, but you don't have any players there really, because everybody is spread out. Either they're in jets, or you're, you know, you beating feet, running down, the, running down the road, trying to get to where the action is at. So, this I'm looking forward to. Look like this is going to give give me some time this weekend. To have some fun so we still working with um, 1080p output DualShock 4 remote play in interconnectivity between the PS4 and the PS Vita 
which is basically remote play. I don't know why they didn't put that on the back. And online play is optional, of course. So this is shrink wrap also. Go ahead and pop this open. All right. Oops. There we go. Come on out of there. Give me that. Come on. There you go in the flesh, bucket naked. There you go. All right. Turn this around. I'm not getting that code. I'm not that generous. All right. And here you go, right here. Behind that China Rising is going to be the code for the DLC. Which, if it turns out to be that I'm already getting the deal, I think I'm already getting the DLC because I had the Battlefield Four for the PS. Uh, three. So, um, if I'm turning out to get that code, um, if some of y'all guys don't get that code, let me know, and I'll go ahead and post it up to somebody. So, we'll see after the game launches. I'm not gonna do anything premature right now, but there you go, right there, the game. And of course, another another seven day P PlayStation Plus trial. So, go ahead and pause the video, snatch that code off there real quick. If you want it, take it, use it, do what you want to do with it. There you go. Alright. Alright, that's it for Battlefield 4. Alright guys, that's the end of the games right there. This is what I'm sitting on right here. Not to include, not to exclude. Call of Duty Ghosts, which I have uh, did an unboxing for the Harden Edition for the PlayStation 4. So I'm still up in the air. I still yet I still have to trade in. I'm going to trade in my Call of Duty Ghosts and Battlefield 4 tomorrow night for the PlayStation 3. And I'm looking, I'm deciding between FIFA 14 or Injustice, the fighting game with all the. Um, superhero characters in in the Injustice Ultimate Edition. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to um, making a decision on. Maybe y'all can make me help me make my decision. Um, just comment down below. Let me know what you think and we can go from there. And one more I got a couple more things I want to show you. And I got a surprise at the end of the video that I want to tell you. So this is my Toshiba hard drive. I did a video earlier this week, well probably this weekend on the um, Toshiba two gig two terabyte hard drive external hard drive I popped it out it wasn't looking good inside that hard drive it was uh, two terabyte in there but it was a 12 millimeter hard drive and that thing I have would have had to jump through some loops to get it out of the hard drive case after I got it out the actual containment case so I took it back I went ahead and just got a one terabyte Toshiba it's going to be 54 RPM with an 8 megabyte cache, uh, 6 gigabyte SATA. So this should do me some justice on the PlayStation 4 until they come out with some reasonable 2 terabyte, excuse me, 2.5 uh, inch hard drives for laptops or the PS4 as you may, uh, however you want to put it. So this is what I got right here. And right behind me you've been seeing in the video this whole time I just got my shirt in today from uh, uber print online uber I think it's uberprint.com something like that so my shirt just came in today I'm gonna be rocking that tomorrow night for the uh, PlayStation 4 launch I'm gonna be out there and you see the camera sitting up there so I'm gonna be out there taking pictures of everybody at the two game stops I'm gonna stop by and you know probably try to do some little interviews and talk to people and see what they plan on picking up and everything like that and whether they're going to be playing tomorrow night after they get their system so let me get it real quick so here you go right here the XG you always hear me say it keep it gaming and on the back exhausted gamer so y'all might be like this guy is diving He's diving in. He's taking this too serious, but you know this is a, this is a hobby of mine. This is something I like to do, you know. 
I got full support and everything like that. So I'm going to do it and make the best out of it as I can. You know what I'm saying? You never know what can happen when you do something that you really like to do. So um, this is pretty much it with everything my unboxing, my mega unboxing for today. One last thing I want to leave you with. I spoke with Kev today from CouchJockeys.com and he spoke with uh, everybody else there and they decided to bring me on as a member of the team over there. So thank you guys. I really appreciate the opportunity and I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, this, Keep in mind that we're doing this on our spare time. You know, we, we love gaming just as much as you guys do here on YouTube. So come visit our website, www.couchjockeys.com, and check out everybody else there. Everybody there has a YouTube page, and we, we're really into gaming, and we're constantly pushing out quality content. So come there and check us out. I will also be at Brandywine, Maryland, at the GameStop there in the shopping center, um, in the Brandywine Shopping Center tomorrow night so if you're in the, if you're in the DMV come check me out I'll be there you see me with my shirt on and I'm gonna be talking to people taking pictures doing videos and video interviews and asking people what they think about the PS4 and what they're looking forward to playing so and I'll also be stopping by the uh, GameStop on Andrews Air Force Base in Camp Springs Maryland as well so stop by there meet up with me you know, let's take some pictures. Let's do a little interview and talk about gaming and stuff like that. You see me with my, you see me with my shirt on, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. All right, everybody. As I always say, it's been Exhausted Gamer here. Keep it gaming.